good hats are sitting. Don't sleep. You got some corduroy and like icy joints up here. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk street wear, and everything in between. It is the first video of 2023. Happy New Year to everybody. And I want to say I appreciate all the support that y'all showed in 2022. That being said, I had to kick off the year with an upcoming hat releases video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. So like I said, first up is going to be ECAB City. So y'all can see, here's the wheel of hats that they always post. And a few of these are actually standing out to me. I really like this khaki and green two-tone mesh joint. That's clean. The Mariners right above it. Looks like a sneaky two-tone. You got two different types of green in there. That's nice. I like the burgundy accents in there. You got a Rangers in the mix. Okay. A Rays. Meh. Stomper. We got a Diamondbacks. Kind of looks like that uh, Capsule Hats Nitro kind of vibe. The Royal Blue with the Brown. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's a nice hat, though. Colorado Rockies, Dodgers. The Dodgers is not bad. White Sox, the Angels. I don't know what this team is right here. It's probably like a minor league team. We'll see in the close up. We have a Cubs that kind of looks like the Hat Club or a Pack Cubs. Got to take a closer look at that. Detroit Tigers in the mix and what looks to be a Cincinnati Reds joint. So let's look at the close ups. We got the side patches. Okay. And yeah, this probably is some type of minor league that I'm not familiar with. Y'all can drop it in the comment section if y'all know that team. Side patches don't look bad. Here's some close-ups of the Detroit and the Stomper, the Rays, and that other team. The Diamondbacks and the Rockies. That Diamondbacks is nice. I like the, the gold in the front logo. Y'all know how I feel about my metallic stitching. And this is gonna drop tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. Y'all can see the time conversions right above my head. That's normally where it lands in the caption, the um, ECAB City caption. Okay, so no, that's not that's not what I was expecting. Kinda in this picture, the wheel photo, it looked like the uh, horror pack Cubs from Hat Club, but this is a two-tone joint. That's actually pretty clean. That two-tone is nice. We got the navy blue with the brown. Great color combination. Okay, ECAP City. They dropping some heat. Nice array of UV colors. Some variety in the mix. I like it. That's a good drop. We're going to move on to Capanova USA, which I just want to commend them for bringing back the Cherry Garcia at the end of the year because that was one of their best drops this year. Bringing that back was a great idea. So shout out to Capanova because that was a good idea. We got a Brooklyn Dodgers right in the middle. That one caught my eye immediately. Cincinnati Reds, Atlanta Braves. I like the color combination on these. That's cool. We don't have any close-up photos just yet. Let me refresh because I did pull this up earlier. Maybe they posted something since then. We do have a couple of close-up photos. All right. Nice job with the photos too. Capanova used to take like these really dark pictures and you couldn't really like see the hats all that great. They've been getting way better, way better. This is clean. I like this. Not bad to start off the year, especially the Brooklyn Dodgers. Like that's the one that my eyes first went to and that's, that's the one. Yeah, at least for me. We're going to move on now to Hat Club bringing back a little bit of a fan favorite with a twist. So this is Cookies and Cream. Cookies and Cream has not dropped since 2020, I believe. Uh, but they're bringing it back with updates, new materials. So these are Bangladesh crowns, 100% polyester, black crown button and upper. You got the pink satin visor and pearlescent satin crown liner. I kind of like the um, idea of a satin liner just because I think it's pretty cool. And it's not something that's being done like too, too much now. I feel like people switching up the materials on hats is still kind of new. So seeing Hat Club jump on that early, I do commend them for that. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Everybody's not going to like the satin liner. Some people probably haven't even noticed it. 
Um, but this is why I'm here, to put y'all on to the details. But that's kind of like the materials details. Let's take a look at the hats themselves. So off rip, we have a Cubs jumping out at me. And it's really jumping out at me because they use the front logo and the side patch that look the same. Not too sure about that, but I do love the scruffy bear face. Both Cubs that I have in my collection, I only have two Cubs and they're both the scruffy bear face. I love that front logo. I'm not crazy about animal front logos, but the scruffy bear face, that one is dope. All right, we got a Yankees with the double outline, a Mariners joint that has the compass in the middle. Okay, the color placement in the patches ain't bad either. I gotta wonder if this Giants, if that's uh, some type of pearlescent or metallic stitching for the ball, that would be dope. I'm not sure. The Rockies, Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks is pretty clean. If I had to pick a, okay. If I had to pick a top three, you got the Astros in the mix with the Broken Star. That one's gonna fly. If you want the Astros, you gotta be on top of it. If you want the Mariners, you better be on top of it. A lot of people who have been waiting for cookies and cream. Back to my top three, Yankees. Diamondbacks. It's between the Cubs and the Astros. And I'm gonna give it to the Cubs because I really do like that scruffy bear face. So that's my top three for the Hat Club. Cookies and Cream 2.0, if you wanna call it that. Let's move on to lids. This is a lids drop that actually happened yesterday. It was some type of superhero drop. Not really my speed, but I like to put y'all on, even if it's not my personal taste. So this was a Marvel drop. There we go. Here are the hats. We got a Wolverine, I'm guessing. We got Wolverine, Spider-Man on top, and then Groot. I have to say the color combinations, they went crazy. Like the hats look good. The hats look really good. It's just not necessarily front logos that I would rock. You know what I'm saying? I think Liz Hat Drop did a pretty good job with making these look fashionable and not nerdy. Not that there's anything wrong with being a nerd, but y'all get what I'm saying. We're going to move on to another Lids hat drop. This one is going to be their usual Friday drop, so Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern. I can't be 100% sure because I did not watch their like video where they talk about the upcoming hats or whatever, but I don't think this is Moon Fu's, uh corduroy drop. If he has a corduroy drop part two coming, I don't know, but I don't think this is that. This is just like a Lids, you know, corduroy collection that they're dropping. And that Pirates, that Pirates goes crazy. That Pirates is hella clean. And y'all know I don't really like white domes like that. Off-white, cool. Stone, cool. All the different variations. Ivory, all of it. Chrome, all of it. But white, bright white, it's got to be a good looking hat for me to pick it up. And that's a great hat right there. That is a great hat. The Pirates, cold. Uh, also, I kind of like... The Houston, but I'm going to still come back to the Pirates. The Pirates is the one, at least for me. Y'all let me know what y'all plan on copping down below in the comment section because I know a lot of y'all love corduroy. Let's move on to New Era Cap. So they released this. Um, This is just the newest one. I'm not going to recap all of the New Era drops that I've missed since I wasn't doing these videos because it would be a lot. We'd be here all day. That could be a whole separate video. We're going to just talk about the newest one. This is Letterman, the Letterman Collection. These aren't bad. It's nothing crazy. They kind of stayed within traditional colors, but a few of them are nice enough to stand out. I like the Yankees. I like the Cardinals. The Cowboys is nice. Let's see what we got on the second page. The White Sox is nice. Yeah, traditional kind of modern colorways. It's clean. Nothing too crazy though. And these are $55, $55.99. That is interesting. We gonna move on though to capsule hats. Down below in the comment section, sound off about how y'all feel about hats sitting because this time last year, you couldn't get a hat from capsule hats. They were selling out super quick, the password page and all of that. You couldn't get a hat from MindFitted. You couldn't get a hat from Hat Club. It was very, very hard to cop hats. And now it is very, very easy. And some people, some people don't like that. I love it though. I have time to think about the hats that I want. Could cop some hats on sale. I love it. So here's the capsule drop for the week. These will be online today. 
online only. It doesn't have a time or anything like that, but you can check out the release details. I'm sure they'll talk about it in their Instagram story or something like that. And this collection is called Orange Fury Glow, and it says the return of Orange Fury Glow. So I'm guessing this is not the first time this has dropped. Not really for me. Stone domes, orange UV. I love hats with orange UVs, but yeah, this one isn't for me. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. We gonna move on to Still, and I wanted to talk about Still because Still has hats sitting, and a lot of you guys have asked about Still and said that y'all couldn't get a hat. Plenty of hats on the website right now. Good hats are sitting, don't sleep. We got some corduroy and like icy joints up here. Some two tones, some brown corduroy, walnut corduroy, olive corduroy. This peaches and cream, which I'm still thinking about copping that Mets. Some more two tones in the mix. Good hats are sitting everywhere. So check out Still. I just wanted to run through that with y'all right quick because a few of you have said that y'all wanted to pick up a hat from Still. This is Sports World 165. They released this drop yesterday. Love the color combination on these. That brown with the navy blue top bill and button and the icy UV, that's a good one. Great color combination. The only thing about it is I'm not really feeling the scripts. I feel like this color combination would have been perfect for just regular front logos. Not to say they look bad, like I love the Dodgers and I love the Phillies, but I don't need another flying ball Phillies. And I don't need a script Dodgers. The patchwork is really nice. The color placement is good. Don't sleep on this drop. It's just not for me. And they released these yesterday, but they are all still on the website. I don't know if there's sizes for all of them, but there's definitely a good size run because I checked it earlier. Exclusive Fitted is dropping some hats today. So I think it's these three hats right here. These are going to drop today at 4 p.m. This video won't be up at 4 p.m., but I don't know if you really have to be concerned about these selling out. You know, if you're watching this video right now, definitely go check if you see something you like. But I don't think you have to worry about these selling out. Clean colorway, nice gray UVs on these. Not too crazy about the front logos, though. And again, today, 4 p.m. for that drop. We're going to move on to Pro Image Sports. If you're not checking all of the Pro Image locations, they all have Instagrams. So you can check them all very easily. If you're not checking them all, you're doing yourself a disservice because they all drop different stuff. And it's a lot of heat that gets mixed in that you can miss if you're not looking at all the stores, if you're only looking at one or two. Today, we're going to look at two because it's a lot. But definitely make sure you are checking out all of the Pro Image Stores uh, Instagrams. So this is Pro Image Sports, like the main page. And y'all can see there's a White Sox and also a San Diego Padres. That is the San Diego Padres from Capanova's Scooby-Doo Drop. We're going to move on now to, what is this, Pro Image Fox Hills. So we all know that Dodgers is from the Lids Hat Drop Cigar Pack. I don't think they changed anything about it. It's the same hat. White Guts, Mud Bottom. It's a nice hat. I have the Atlanta Braves from that collection. Shout out to Lids for sending that out to me. So that Dodgers right there and these Dodgers here are all available on the Pro Image Fox Hills website. So you just go to the Pro Image Fox Hills web uh, Instagram and then click their link and it'll take you to these hats. We're going to move on to All the Right. All the Right is back with the heat. It's been a minute since All the Right dropped something and it's been even longer since they dropped something that I was a fan of, but these hats are cold. These, these are fire. So this pack is inspired by Polo, uh, Ralph Lauren Polo, which if you're from New York, you know, you know, Polo is a big thing. Every single hat is fire. One of them is actually a leather brim, which I think is dope. Like I said, switching up materials. It's easy to just throw some colors at a hat, but I feel like these different materials is really changing the game and it's gonna continue to change the game. So here's the patchwork. Great patches, great front logos, great color placement. Next is a future reference. These hats dropped a minute ago, but they are still on the site. So I wanted to show them to y'all. They are $60, so they're at like the higher end of fitted hat prices. But I think they did a pretty good job with these. Good execution on their candy pack. Here go some of the hats. We got the Royals, Kansas City Royals. Which I think is, um, what is that candy? Like the Rolo or whatever it's called. Candy. 
Texas Rangers, which might be Toblerone or something. I don't know. Washington Nationals in the mix. This one gives me whatchamacallit vibes. I have no idea if that's the correct inspiration, but that's what I'm going to go with because that's what it looks like. Brooklyn Dodgers. This, um, what is that candy bar? I don't know if it's Mars bar or whatever. I'm probably way off with the inspiration for these, but that's what comes to mind when I see them. And then you have a bison and angels down here at the bottom, but we're going to move on to Sneaker Town. Sneaker Town did an anime inspired pack. I think it was Naruto, uh, Samurai, Shampoo, and Neon Genesis. These actually dropped today at 12 p.m. So there are a few of them still on the website. Let me refresh just to make sure I'm giving y'all accurate information. But the Rays, the Seattle, and the Marlins are still up there. So here's the Rays. Tropicana Field side patch. Looks like a bright white crown. Yeah, it says white and sunflower. Here's the Seattle Mariners. And here's the Marlins. Sneaker Town has been doing their thing. Like they have dropped a lot of fire hats. These, I I'm not really feeling these too much, but I'm not gonna like everything. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all plan to pick up. Is it a spend your money week or is it a save your money week? If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out in the next one.